Islam, 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 please be seated. <laughs> Arise, giving all praises to the great God of the universe, affectionately known to the Moorish Americans as Allah. Allah is the author, the creator, the governor of the world, the almighty, eternal, and incomprehensible. All praises are due to Allah. I extend the highest of honors to his holy and divine prophet, Prophet Noble Jura Ali, the founder of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Islam? Islam. I extend high honors to his forerunner, the, honorable, the most honorable, Marcus Maziah Garvey, the founder of the Universal Negro Approval Association, who did indeed warn and stir up the nations. Islam? Islam. Sending high honors to the first Supreme Grand Sheikh of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother E. Millie Ill. Giving high honors to the current Supreme Grand Sheikh of the Supreme Grand Council of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother R. Edwards Ill. Giving high honors to our National Grand Sheikh of the Uniting of the Moorish Science Temple of America, Brother G. Turner Ill Islam. Islam. Singing high honor to our Moorish flag, the red flag with the five pointed green star in the center. These five points represent love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. These are the five highest principles known to man. Islam? Islam. Sending high honors to the American flag, also known as the Stars and Stripes. This flag exists as a constant reminder that the European nations owe you the Moors with compound interest. Islam? Islam. This is also the flag of our birth. Islam Moors? Islam. Giving honor to the noble Sheikh staff and noble Moors National Security Command, the vanguards who keep the peace, and giving honors to you, the Ills and Bays, for without you there is no Moorish movement. Islam Moors? Islam. Giving honors to the sisters of Grand Temple number 19 for demonstrating a high and holy measure. Islam? Islam. Give them another round of applause. Praise, of, praise Allah. Praise Allah. I love you, Morris. No, no, I don't believe you. I love you, Morris. I love you, Morris. Islam, but what does that love look like? Islam? Can we say this is divine love day? Islam? What is a divine love? What does that look like? Let me, let me tell you what it looks like. The Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America, divinely prepared by the noble prophet Drew Ali, by the guiding of his father, God Allah, the great God of the universe, to redeem man from his sinful and fallen stage of humanity back to the highest plane of life with his father, God Allah. Islam? Islam. That's a divine love right there. Right. Islam? As you are, Moors. Back cover of the Quran, Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Know yourself and your father, God Allah, that you may learn to love instead of hate. Every man needs to worship under his own vine and fig tree, the uniting of Asia. Islam? Islam. That is a divine love. Islam? Islam. Go to, if you open the, the cover, go to the very first page on the opposite side of the cover. Know thyself and Allah, the genealogy of Jesus. Notice Jesus is in quotation marks. Islam? Islam? The genealogy of Jesus, the life and works of Jesus in India, Europe, and Africa in the land of Egypt. Islam? Islam. That is a divine love. Right. You know why it's a divine love right there? Remember I said Jesus in quotation marks, right? right. You could very, very easily take Jesus' name out and put yours. Right. Islam? Islam? So I could say, know thyself in Allah, the genealogy of Sister Hidayah. Islam. The life and works of Sister Hidayah and name all the lands that she traveled in. That's right. Islam? Islam. Islam. That's why that's a divine love. Islam? Islam, go to the inside of the back cover. It says the fallen sons and daughters of the Asiatic nation of North America need to learn to love instead of hate and to know of their higher self and lower self. This is the uniting of the Holy Quran of Mecca for the teaching and instructing of all Moorish Americans, etc. Islam? Islam, that is also a divine love. Islam, because everybody saw that you were fallen. That's right. Islam? Islam? The world saw you were falling. But who came to offer you a hand? To press your hand and pull you up and stand amongst the living? Islam? Because we had gotten comfortable with dwelling amongst the dead. Right. Islam? Islam? You know, there was a movie years ago called Night of the Living Dead. Mm. You know that? And you know, nowadays they make all these zombie movies, right? Well, who do you think the zombie is that they're talking about? What is a zombie? He looks alive, right? He moved around with the living. Islam? But is he alive? Does he do the things that living people do? Islam? Islam. So if you're alive, you eat things that are living. That's right. Islam? Islam? Instead of things that are dead. If you're alive, you think things that are living mm. instead of thoughts that are dead. Islam? Islam? What was music created for? Music was created to tell the story of the culture of a people. Islam? Islam. What is our music devolved into being? 
<laughs> Nigga, because it's talking about a zombie state. It's glorifying a zombie state with all due respect to the current generation of what they listen to. But it's an agenda present. That's right. Islam? Islam. Islam. Right? Because see, they learn that, you know, you say, we say, what is the, the higher self, right? The mother of virtues and the Harmony. harmonies of life. Harmony deals with tones and vibrations. That's, right. That's music. Islam. As long? So when you alter the harmony, you alter the vibration of the person that's listening to it. That's right. It can either uplift you or make you descend down to meanness mm -hmm. or a beast level. As long? As long. All right. So what does that love look like? What is a divine love? Let's go to chapter two of the Holy Quran. It's more science simple than that. Let me hear it. Islam, are you there? Islam. Islam, Sheikh. Gratitude. So if we start at instruction 10, it says, Elihu said to Mary and Elizabeth, you may esteem yourselves thrice blessed for you are chosen mothers of long promised sons who are ordained to lay a solid rock, a sure foundation stone on which the temple of the perfect man shall rest, a temple that shall never be destroyed. Why shall this temple never be destroyed? Is this temple measured up by time? No, no. no, so it can't be destroyed, Islam? Islam. So we're talking about something divine, Islam? Islam. All right, and I want to thank my sister Hedaya for the, the poems on divine. Yeah. She worked that thing. Uh, she, she brought somebody to tears, but I ain't gonna say who. <laughs> Islam. Islam, praise Allah. That's how you know the truth was being put down, Islam. Islam. Praise Allah, all right? It says, 12, we measure time by cycle ages. And the gate to every age we deem a milestone in the journey of the race. How long is an age? 2,160 years. It's not about no 24 hours on a clock. Right. We measure time by cycle ages. Islam? Islam? Let's keep going. It says, an age had passed. The gate to, unto another age flies open at the, touch of, at the age touch of time. This is the preparation age of soul, the kingdom of Emmanuel, of Allah and man. And these, your sons, will be the first to tell the news and teach the gospel of good will to men and peace on earth. A mighty work is theirs. This is talking to you, Morris. A mighty work is theirs, for carnal men want not the light. They love the dark, and when the light shines in the dark, they comprehend it not. We call these sons revealers of the light, and they must have the light before they can receive the light. Islam? And you must teach your sons and set their sons, part out, set their souls on fire with love and holy zeal and make them conscious of your mission, to the, of their missions to the sons of men. Islam, are you conscious of your mission? Do you have your marching orders? Do you know what you got to do? Because if you know what you got to do, you act accordingly. Islam? Where, where our people need us, you're found there doing the work. Islam? Islam? You're not found lacking or wanting in your demonstration of what you're called to do. Sure. If you're conscious of it, if you're not conscious of it, they will know it by your actions. Islam? Islam? See, these lessons aren't for you to say Islam here and then go outside the temple gates and turn back into a Negro. Mm -hmm. That's not what this is for. Right. If you're doing that, you got to measure and analyze self. Mm -hmm. What am I doing wrong? Why am I able to align in the temple, but when I go out in the world, I turn back into Negro, black, and colored? Islam? Islam? Mm -hmm. That means you're not conscious of your mission to the sons of men. Right. Islam, Morris? Right. All right, moving forward, it says, 18. Teach them that Allah and man are one, but that through what? Carnal thoughts and carnal thoughts and words and deeds, man tore himself away from Allah, debased himself. Teach that holy breath would make them one again, restoring harmony and peace. Why does the prophet say that we are not to use um, profanity even in the mildest form? Because it's a misuse of the holy breath. Islam Islam. I'm going to show you how the Roman Catholics took a part of your degree. You ever seen the Catholic fathers? They wear the black suits. Right? And they got that white collar right here. It's a white square right here. You know why they wear that right there? Anybody know? Because they say the voice is sacred. Anything to speak is supposed to be the voice. Vox Dei, they call it in Latin. The voice of God. Islam? So speaking in profanity, and what is profanity? Profanity is not just cussing. Right? Profanity, profane, comes from the Latin word profanus. That means that which is outside of the temple. Islam? Islam? So if you got a conversation on your tongue that's outside of the temple, you're profane and you're Islam. demonstrating profanity. Right. Islam? Islam? Profanity could be what you call negativity. If you run around the world spreading negativity, you're profane. You're outside the temple. Mm -hmm. 
Go to Revelations 11, 1, and it, it, that tells you about the profane. Islam, Islam, let's keep moving. It says that, that naught can make them one but love, that Allah so loved the world that he has clothed his son in flesh, that man can comprehend. The only savior of the world is what? Ah, uh, I don't believe you. Two people said it. The only savior of the world is what? Love. Islam. Now you're working. And Jesus, son of Mary, comes and manifests that love to men. And Jesus means what? Justin. Islam. Just in case you thought we was in church. <laughs> Just in case. So when the prophet tells you that we love Jesus, Prophet Noble Dry Lee teaches according to science. That's right. So what's the scientific or metaphysical principle that he's talking about when he says Jesus? He's talking about the degree of Justice. justice and the prophet says the peace of society dependeth on justice. Islam? Islam all right let's keep moving just making sure y'all with me Islam? Islam now love cannot be manifest until the, its way has been prepared and naught can rend the rock and bring down lofty hill and fill the valleys up and thus prepare the way but purity but purity in life men do not comprehend and so it too must come in flesh and you, Elizabeth, are blessed because yours is purity made flesh, and he shall pave the way for love. This age will comprehend but little of the works of purity and love, but not a word is lost. For in the book of Allah's remembrance, a registry is made of every thought and word and deed. And when the world is ready to receive, lo, which means look, Allah will send a messenger to open the book and copy from its sacred pages all the messages of purity and love. Islam or yeah. Surely Allah speaks the truth through his holy and divine prophet, noble Drew Ali Islam. Yeah. Now with that, when he talks about that registry, right? He talks about that, that book of Allah's remembrance. What is that book? Is it a book with pages? Is it something you can go to a bookstore and buy? Is it something you can go to a library and find? No, it's talking about your soul. Islam? Islam? Everything you do is recorded on your soul. Islam? Islam. Ain't nothing outside of you that's going to keep you in check. It's you. Islam? Islam. Islam. All right? If you're broke, guess what? Ain't nobody else's fault. It's your fault. That's right. Islam? Islam? Change your thought, and then you'll find a different action occurring to you. That's right. Islam? If you ain't happy, it ain't nobody else's fault. Mm. Whose fault is it? Yours. Yours. Islam? Islam? Ain't nothing outside of you that has the power to make you unhappy. Right. Islam, because it's a conscious decision to be unhappy. That's right. right. You got all your eyesight, mm -hmm. you're upright, you got strength, you got all your mind, and you're unhappy. Islam. What do you think Stevie Wonder would give to see what you're able to see? Wow. Right? <laughs> but then Allah is so merciful, He gave him a sight you don't have. Mm -hmm. That's right. Islam? Islam. Google Stevie Wonder's song called 1492 and tell me he ain't mm -hmm. talking about the Moors. <laughs> Stevie wanted to know he a more, but you don't. That's right. <laughs> he got eyes that don't work. Islam. Islam? Islam. Listen to that. Go bring that song up. Look, look at the lyrics and see what it's talking about. Tell me that ain't Prophet Noble Trial. Islam. Islam Moors? Islam. All right? So the Prophet talks about a registry being made, right? So in the manifest, we've actually created a national registry to record ones as Moorish American so we can document and get an accurate count of the Moors here in America. Islam? Islam. So for you Moors, as members of Temple 19, when we're asking you stuff like, we need accurate names, right, to put down on the list because this, you know, the registry has to be to, you know, it has to be your legal, you know, identified name, right? Because right now, you know, the sister demonstrated a powerful demonstration of freedom, right? We have to get our freedom back, right? But right now, we got to talk with the nations of the earth. Prophet said what? Come and link yourself back with the families of what? Nations. nations. So you got, we got to get ready to talk to the other nations of the earth, which means we got to be organized. In order to organize, you have to have an accurate count, a number of your people, That's right. right? Ain't no nation on earth that don't know how many citizens they got. That's right. Right? How many more Americans are there in America? Do you know? That's why we put the registry together. Islam? Islam? So we need that accurate count. And we need our sisters to really be working with that because y'all bring the children into the world. Islam? Islam? We don't want them to slip between the cracks and be considered as Negroes. Mm -hmm. Right? There's something called, and I don't want to get too deep in this, there's something called assumable jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. Which means that if you don't proclaim who you are, it will be assumed right. who you are. Because you look like a particular thing. Mm -hmm. Islam? Now, I could walk around with my fans and turban on, or I could take it off. If I take it off, it might be assumed that I'm Negro, black, and colored. That's right. Islam? That's right. But I can go to a same, that same person with my fans on. If they know what that is, I get a whole different treatment. That's right. Islam? 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 Sisters, have you experienced that? Yeah. Get doors open for you and stuff when you got your turban on? Yeah. Might not have your turban on. They don't look, they don't look twice at you. Y'all yeah. know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Islam. And I use the sisters, brothers. I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Islam? Islam? All right? So it's, it's about a divine love. And what makes it a divine love? 
The Prophet Noble Jirali has a demonstration in his proclamations where he talks about the truth and the divine truth. Let's see if I can find it for you really quick. Here we go. Right? The Prophet says, I'm just read this to the Moors. Salam Moors. Moors Science Temple of America, Noble Jirali found a home office to the uh, Chicago, Illinois. To the members of the Moors Science Temple of America, Islam. Islam. This is the instructions from your prophet, Noble Jirali. Be faithful unto your forefathers, divine and national creed, that you would be blessed for your good deeds that you sow in the flesh. Allah is the one that judges the world, and his judgment is on now, but the weak comprehend it not. The end of time is drawing near, so says Allah to his divine prophet, I, Noble Jirali. And that is why many hearts have been turned to stone, and many have eyes to see, but cannot see. Ears to hear, but cannot hear, least they would be confounded of their sins. These are trying hours now, dear Moors, and every evil spirit is moving, and they are trying every weak mind to overthrow and drag out the true foundation that has been laid, and to cause confusion in the minds of the ones that do believe. But if you, if you have the true love of Allah and the spirit of your forefathers, you fear not of what you hear or see, but will sacrifice the utmost of your very life to protect your prophet and the movement. Watch your enemies, dear Moors. Your enemies are the ones that speak against your prophet and ridicule him to the very lowest, and the ones that speak against your divine and national principles of your, temp of your temples. Act accordingly, and Allah will bless you for your good work. Peace, your divine prophet. Noble Jirali Islam. Islam. All right, got another one I want to read. To be proclaimed in every meeting, Islam. Islam. I am glad to know that I have a few faithful Moors among you all, and I desire for them to know the truth and the divine truth. Notice he made a difference of saying the truth and a divine truth. Islam? Islam? See, there are certain truths that are measured up by time. Islam? Islam. But a divine truth is eternal. Right. How do you delineate between the, between the two? You know a divine truth because a divine truth comes from a prophet of Allah who was divinely prepared and sent by Allah to speak Allah's word. Right. Islam? Islam? You might be able to tell somebody something that is true, right? But if it's not backed by the spirit of Allah, it will not have the saving power to reform the person. Right. right? See, there's something called inspiration. And inspiration means inner breath. That's actually what the word inspiration means. So even if you're telling somebody something, if you give them the holy breath from Allah, right, it may have the power to trigger something inside of the person and shift their will to cause them to act different. That's right. Right? So if we say, if he said there's a truth and a divine truth, that means there's a love and a divine love. That's right. Islam, Islam, in the language of one of the languages of our forefathers, which was Arabic, there's two terms you use. You have hub and ishq. Hub means love in the sense of I love my wife. Ishq is in the sense of I love Allah. That's a different love, Islam. right? Because you can't give to a human being what you give to the creator of the balanced universe. Right. Islam? Islam, right? If I was talking to my wife, I would say, Ana ahubaka, which means I love you in a feminine gender. And she would say, Ana ahubuk, which means I love you. But that is not what we give to Allah. Islam? Islam. All right? Because we're in these bodies, we have a tendency to do this. I love you as long as you do this. <laughs> that ain't love. That means you like that person. <laughs> Be clear. I love you as long as you keep the house clean. <laughs> that ain't love. That's like. Islam. Be clear that that's like. Islam? Because the prophets say the pure in heart will love and not demand love in return. That's right. Islam? Islam? So what kind of love did he give the Moors? He gave you an elevated love. Right. Islam? Us violating that is how we fell. Islam? 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 I'll give you another example of a divine love. Who are Adam and Eve? I don't believe y'all. Try it again. Who are Adam and Eve? They are the mothers and fathers of the human family, Asiatics and Muslims. Islam. If you know the story, Adam and Eve were cast out, right? They were placed in the Garden of Eden. Where's the Garden of Eden? The land of Canaan in the city of Mecca, right? Islam. They were placed there, which was a paradise, right? But they, how many laws were they given? One, which was don't eat of the fruit of the garden, which was not an apple. By the way, that fruit was a particular knowledge that they took that they weren't supposed to have because they weren't ready. Islam. They partook of the knowledge, violated, and were cast out. When they cast out, anybody that got their Google, you go, go to Genesis chapter 3, verse 24, right? I'm going to show you something real quick. It says, so the Lord God drove out man, and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubim and a, 
and a flaming sword which turned every way to guard the path to the tree of life. One of my, one of my former grand, you know, grand sheiks, an elder that taught me my more science, Sheik James Barnes Bay, may Allah be pleased with him. He instructed me, he said that a thing is only as important as the amount of protection that you put upon it. I'm going to say it again. A thing is only as important as the amount of protection that you put upon it. Brothers, if you're walking down the street with your lady, right, and she's walking, you know, closer towards the curb by traffic, do we allow that? No. Why do we not allow that? It's not safe. Car could jump the curb. Not like our bodies are any more designed to handle the impact of a 2,000 pound vehicle. <laughs> but life, she's the womb, she got to continue. I get taken out, life can still continue. Islam? Uh -huh. All right? So again, if you notice with this, it didn't say they were put out and they had to train some cherubim to hold the post in order to keep them out. The cherubim were already in place to keep them out. Islam? I want to give honors to everybody who submitted to the security search tonight. Right? Because I'll give you something that you, don't, you may not know here at Grand Temple 19. Over the past two to three months, we've stopped firearms from coming in the door because of the search. We've stopped knives from coming in here because our people are in Asia, they out there in the world, they feel like they got to carry that stuff to protect themselves. Islam? Islam? You ain't bringing that stuff up in here without women and our children. Islam? Islam. Islam? So you gonna get searched and praise Allah for submitting to it because now we can teach in peace because we know ain't no weapons in the room. Islam. We ain't got to worry about that. Now we can worry about evolving ourselves and receiving the lesson. Islam. Islam? But when there's a danger present, you're on a different survival mode and you're cutting off your higher self. Islam or us? So I want to say from a divine love, thank you all. Islam? Islam? Thank you. Because in the whole time that we received, we've had a charter, the more sensible of America, our doors have never been breached. Islam? Islam? Islam. And we've always been safe up here. Islam? Islam? And we ask to submit to the search because we love you. Islam. All right? Because it's a divine love and you're super important to us. Islam? Islam? So this is why we ask. This is why we have rules, regulations, and rules of conduct. Islam? Islam. Praise Allah. Y'all all right, Moors? Praise Allah. I just want to let y'all know, Moors, we got some food being prepared in the back. And I don't want to hold the floor up. See if I can call our sister chairman back up. Take your time, sister. But I want to thank you all for coming out tonight to the More Science Temple of America. The More Science Temple of America was established by Prophet Noble Dry Lee in 1913 for the uplifting of fallen humanity. Islam? The creating environment where we can learn not only that stuff was taken away, but how to get it back. All right? So you can learn your name, your nationality, your dress code, your customs, your culture, all of that. Islam? Islam. How many people don't know who Noble Durali is? By a show of hands. Everybody who knows who Noble Durali is? Really? Praise Allah. Islam. All right? So at this point, I will call our beloved Sister Chairman back up, Sister L. Hayes Bay, and you're the floor. Islam? Islam. Peace. Peace.